It's a side of our times now. Those AP classes, their advanced placement courses are often seen as a requirement for college bound high school students. Most people have to take them. But not every school can offer every AP course. And if they don't, usually students are out of luck or maybe not. Garvin Thomas joins us now with the story of a young man who's really created his own path and now thousands of other kids are following. That's right, Raj. Mokshawa says he got his first taste of computer science and coding in the seventh grade and was hooked. He knew it had to be part of whatever he did with his life. What he didn't know was just how many others he'd end up bringing along with him. You'll see how in tonight's Bay Area Proud. Washington High School in Fremont has a lot to offer its students. Loads of activity. Uh, you might want to quantify that a little. And lots of caring teachers. In what ways will... Uh, it had everything, in fact, Junior Mokes Jawa wanted in a school when he enrolled as a freshman. Well, everything it turned out, except one thing. I was very, very excited to take the course. I was like, yes, this is the course I need to take. And I come to, I get to Washington High School and I find out the course isn't there. The course Mokes really wanted to take was advanced placement computer science. He had started getting interested in the subject as a middle schooler and really wanted to tackle it in high school. Not one, though, to let a lack of a formal course stop him. Mokes bought a book and taught himself the course. I figured my way out through and I took the test um, in May and I, I got a five on it, which is the highest score. So that was really exciting for me. And notice how the file name and the, you know, the program name have to match. It is what Mokes did that next though that is exciting for so many others. He thought his friends could benefit from his work, so he started teaching the material after school to about 30 of them. But when scheduling conflicts made it hard to find a time they could all get together, well, Moksh didn't let that stop him either. So I saw an opportunity there and I started to try to build out the um, build out an online course myself. Decoding AP Computer Science, hosted on the Udemy website, is the free course he created. And it turns out it wasn't just his friends who were interested. In a little over a year, more than 4,000 others from around the world have taken his course. More than half giving it a five-star rating. To think that, you know, someone in South Korea is studying AP computer science and using my course is, you know, crazy. It has been such a hit, Moksh followed up with his very own textbook for the course. In a few short years, Moksh has become an expert at teaching high schoolers about computer science. What object-oriented means is... And the rest of us, about not letting obstacles stand in your way. Do whatever interests you, whatever problem, you know, makes you think, oh, I can do something about it, just go out there and do it. And be, you know, of course, really, really smart, so you can do it. Yes, exactly. Now, <laughs> not the, your average kid. <laughs> the course on the Udemy website is free, and he's not making any money off the book. So he says, this isn't something to make money. He's not making money off this. He just does it because he's passionate about computer science, and he loves the idea of getting other people, particularly his peers, passionate about it. And he says, having the whole course written by a house killer kind of makes it easier for other high schoolers to relate to. Can he yes. tutor all of us? That, know, that's really. the next question. <laughs> A little embarrassing for us adults that need some tutoring. Thank you.